If you got a Chevy truck or car that has a relay on it, here's how they work, here's how to test them. Let's get in here and get it done quick and easy. Trust me, I'm a mechanic. Let's check it with the multimeter. All right, so I normally start with a multimeter, test them quick and easy. First step, we got 85 and 86, that is the coil. We have the contacts on there. You can see we're reading 71 ohms. This coil in here is good, it's a little coil. It's what creates the magnetic force to pull the contacts closed. So we can see the coil's good. Now we're gonna test 30 and 87. All right, here we go. We got it hooked up to 30 and 87. It's normally open, it's a switch. It doesn't close until you apply power to it. So 30 and 87 are reading infinite ohms, which is good, which means the contacts aren't closed because there's no power applied to it. So just off the bat, testing it like this, I would say this relay is good. Now when you're doing this, the polarity doesn't matter, red and black, it doesn't matter as long as you have the right pins, then you get a good reading, but you know you can put black here, red here, it doesn't matter, there's no power flowing through it, we just gotta hook it up to a multimeter. But now they can fool you. These contacts in here can get dirty, they can get burned up, and when they do, it'll read good, but it won't pass enough current to turn the starter over, so you still have to replace it. So we gotta test it a little bit further, put it under power, see how it does. Let's check it with the battery. All right, so I got battery right here. I have the relay right here. I don't know if it works or not. Got a multimeter right here. Really, you just need a battery and then just some wires to get them to touch onto the contacts. We apply power to 85 and 86. The multimeter is set up to 30 and 87. Touch it to the battery. Multimeter beeps, take it off. Stops beeping, touch it on. You can see this relay is working great. So if you don't have a multimeter, what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply power to the relay and you're gonna listen for a clicking noise. If it clicks, 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 clicks a lot when you touch it to the battery, it's good. Let's try it that way. Yep, this relay is good. So I like to check them with a multimeter first, then I like to get a car battery or a power supply, hook it up to that and see if it clicks on or off. And the easiest way to test these is with a relay checker. You just plug it up to a battery, pop it in, and then it'll click it on and off. Eh, 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 eh. You'll see if it's working or not. But if you don't have one of those, this is how you check it with a power supply or a battery. Let's check it with the power supply. Come over here, we have a power supply. So I got it set to 12 volts, half an amp off. Right here, we can turn it on, see if the relay works. Press on right here. There you go, that multimeter is beeping. If I press off, turns off, press on, turns on. You can see this relay is good. All right, listen for the click. We heard a click, this relay is good. Or if you don't wanna go through all that trouble, you can just swap it out, they're cheap. But I don't like throwing parts at things, obviously, y'all know me. So we put power to 85 and 86, doesn't matter the polarity. Then we check 30 and 87 with the multimeter. You can see this is normally open. When we put power to it, it closes up right there, comes on, take the power away, switch opens up. So this is a normally open relay. You can see 30 and 87 are normally open. When you apply power, it closes it. If it was a normally closed relay, then it would always be on until you apply power, then it shuts it off. But most of these automotive relays are normally open, which means they aren't working until you apply power to them. So that's it for the video. You don't need a bunch of special tools to test these relays. You can check it with a multimeter, check it with a battery, check it with a power supply. If it clicks on and off, super easy, nice and healthy, then you know the relay is good. Drop me a huge thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more mechanic truck tip videos in the future. Later.